Hello again. I'm here now, um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to talk about now about how important it is to have a nice and reliable wireless network. Uh, when you think about having a, a home automation based uh, system in your house. So um, as I have shown before, here in my room, I have an Airport Express from Apple. Like I said, um, I have uh, decided to stick with an Apple environment in my house. Um, I like how easy to set up these devices are and later on I will show how um, uh, the, the easiness of uh, the setup and the interface very user friendly that Apple has for its devices. So um, I have set up here uh, an Airport Express uh, to deal with all my devices that I might have in the lower level of my house. Um, my uh, smart hub, uh, my smart things uh, hub requires a wired connection to your wireless access point. So that's what I have done here. I connected uh, the smart things hub uh, all the way to uh, my Airport Express. And all my devices, most of them in this lower level, they connect wirelessly uh, through my Airport Express. And uh, I will show you now how I have it done uh, in the rest of the house. In the lower, in the upper level, I have another Airport Express set up just uh, to deal with all the devices that I might have in the upper level, like my audio and video devices in the living room my Nest thermostat my Nest protect modules and um, one feature that I like a lot from uh, uh, the Airport Express uh, stations is that if you have a speaker and uh, it has an auxiliary input um, if you connect it to the back of the port here on the Airport Express. Um, this is very useful so that you can later stream music um, wirelessly uh, throughout your house uh, via uh, utilizing uh, AirPlay. This is very uh, a very nice feature I like and later on when I explain how I stream music around my house um, I will explain a little bit more about AirPlay and how uh, having these stations make it uh, very nice to have uh, in uh, in uh, your house setup. Now I'm going to where here I have uh, the main components of my wireless network. Um, I chose uh, to have uh, an airport extreme. Uh, I find this unit to be very reliable. I haven't had any problems with it. And I was looking for a product that uh, as you start uh, connecting devices into your wireless network and your uh, 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 network, your internet of things world start to grow, you have to be sure that uh, your wireless router is going to be able to handle all these devices. So um, I know uh, there are some other good options out there for routers. This one works for me, especially because uh, how I can set it up and uh, monitor it later, which I will show. And um, it's, uh, it holds up to 50 clients, so uh, that's a very good uh, number of devices that it can handle. And uh, that's, uh, in that way you know that your bandwidth, bandwidth is not going to be compromised. And that's why I also have my Airport Express station so that if they require some help, if the main wireless router requires some uh, help taking off some of the load, the other two uh, stations can pick up and uh, deal with uh, some of the devices uh, in different places of the house. So that's what I have here. Um, another good option is from Google, the Hub One. It looks pretty and uh, I don't know, I haven't worked with it, but it looks like it is very reliable as well and that uh, it would be a good option as well to consider for a uh, uh, wireless network when you are thinking more into the home automation um, environment. 
Uh, as you can see here, I have also uh, an instant hub. Um, I have also my Philips Hue uh, Lights Bridge. This is still a first generation. Uh, the second generation can be uh, used uh, to talk uh, to Siri and control your lights. I don't, since I have my Amazon Echo, I don't require that right now. So the first generation works well for me. Um, later on, I will talk a little bit more about uh, protocols and how all the wireless signals work in a uh, wireless network inside the house because uh, it's all very complicated. Well, not complicated, but uh, it can be a little bit confusing all these different protocols and the way devices communicate with each other and yourself. Um, I like um, I've been expanding into the type of products that I've been uh, adding to my network. I have smart things. I have uh, the instant hub. Um, at the very beginning, when I started with the, the home automation in my house, I started with a control four system and I drove away from it because it's very expensive. Um, while it is nice to have everything centralized in one single app, um, the cost is just too much. And uh, what I really didn't like from Control 4 is that you need a dealer to uh, do any modifications that you want to do in your system. You cannot do anything on your own. You have to always call a dealer so it's done for you. And um, nowadays I think it has changed. But also before in the past, you needed to have... Uh, and pay for uh, individual licenses to have their software installed in your mobile devices, which was very annoying for me and very expensive. I think they have gotten away with that now, but still, uh, Control 4, while it's a good system, um, I just don't like it because it's very expensive and uh, you can find a lot of other options now uh, for a lot less of what a Control 4 system costs. Before, yes, you would have the nuisance of uh, saying you have to deal with a ton of different apps to control your house. But now with the Amazon Echo, which uh, is working as an integrator and your own main interface for your systems at your house, this is not the case anymore. You will be able to uh, work pretty much with everything using your voice and uh, you will not have this issue of having to use 20 apps or 30 apps to control everything in your house because everything will start to work together and you'll be able to use uh, Alexa to control everything at some point. So um, this is what I have right now. Now I always mentioned from the very beginning that uh, I'm a fan of uh, my iPhone and also uh, uh, the Apple products because of their easiness to configure and uh, the reason why I like uh, uh, my network products to be on the uh, Apple environment is because of this here. There is this app called Airport Utility. Uh, probably you cannot read it very well, but it's an it's an app that is free um, from uh, the App Store. Um, and like that, you can see what I just showed uh, before, how my... Uh, wireless network is uh, laid out. I have my main airport extreme that is connected to the outside world. And then there you can see all the airport stations that you may have installed in your house. Here um, I have my upper level and my lower level airport stations, uh, airport express stations that handle and help uh, the load uh, from the main airport extreme. It's a very nice app. I really like it. It really makes you see the architecture um, uh, and the layout of uh, your wireless network. And you can click on every device once you set it up. And uh, you can see um, information about your network, how many wireless clients that specific device is handling. I uh, really like uh, that option. Sometimes you, they have information about... Uh, the devices themselves sometimes it's just uh, their IP addresses but um, at least you know the load that your device is uh, handling at that specific time um, here for example on uh, uh, let's see if I can focus a little bit better it's not cooperating right now but here for example 
this is my lower level you can see the quality of the connection of your um, uh, access point there and uh, you can see what kind of connection what frequency it's using uh, right now it shows that it has an excellent connection this also is a good indication of where your devices might be in the house and the access that you are having to your wireless network uh, that this will be helpful to know that your devices are going to be working properly because they have the right access uh, to your wireless network so having an indication of the quality of your network on each device I find it very useful here also you can see how many wireless clients uh, my lower level uh, airport express station is handling and uh, you can see as well my upper level here how also the, the connection quality how it is which is uh, at the moment excellent as well and how many wireless clients it's handling I like to see uh, all this uh, you can you have a light indication to know that everything is working fine on your network uh, yellow means that um, there must be you don't have a connection to the internet uh, at some point uh, where uh, the yellow light might be showing and of course if you have a red light it means that that device is out of your network and it, it it's helpful to have when you're trying to troubleshoot why you're losing connectivity uh, with uh, one or other device this is called the airport utility and uh, I think it's a very nice tool to have um, like I said you can download it from the App Store is is free and um, it's uh, really nicely configured so that you can have a clear view of how your network is working inside your house.